Hello everyone. In this art tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create and manipulate Microsoft Word documents using R. This relies on a package known as the Officer package. This package is developed by David Goal, and this is a package that allows you to work with Word documents and PowerPoint files. But in this video, we'll only be work focusing on Word documents. Now this is actually a really cool package because it allows you to add all sorts of different contents to your Word documents such as text, images, and even tables. It allows you to save those documents and then be able to use them and send them out as needed. So this is really cool that is it's embedded in R because it allows you to create maybe many documents at once in the same format without having to do it manually. So let's get started. I will go into my R Studio, and this right here is a template as to how to create and manipulate and save a Word document using the Officer package. So I've broken this down into four simple steps. The first step being to load the library. So in order to do that, you'll just type in library officer. And what this is, is the package uh, from Officer, and it's gonna allow you to manipulate Word documents and PowerPoint files. Now, if you don't have this package, you will obviously need to install it using the install.packages method. The second step is to create the Word document object. In order to do this, you're going to use a function called read.docx. Now, we want to store this in an object, so I'm just going to create an object called WordDoc, and I'm going to set it equals to the read underscore docx function. And we don't need to set any uh, arguments or parameters inside. So if you run this, we now have this Word doc uh, object created. And if we look at the class of this Word doc object, you're going to notice that it is an R doc X object. The third step would be to add the contents to your Word doc. Now adding the contents has many different functions that we will cover in detail. So the way this works is I'm going to just give an example as to how to add some simple text to your Word document. So the way this works is by simply uh, referencing the Word document object that we created earlier. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to also reference the Word doc object again, and we're going to pipe it into a function. And, and for this particular example, I want to use the body add paragraph function. And the reason why is because this is the most common function uh, in this package, and it simply just allows you to add text to your document. So we're going to add the text that we want to add here and then we just want to say something like this is an R tutorial on the officer package. And there is another parameter that we can add so we can also add the styling of this. So for the styling we could say maybe we can make this normal so this is going to add normal text. Um, and then we'll just go ahead and run this. So let's go ahead and run this code. Okay. And then we come to step four, which is to save the document as a file. So to save the document as a file, it's really simple. All you really need to do is use a print function, reference the Word doc object, and then you're going to give the file name that you want to, uh, that you want to assign to the Word doc object. So in this case, I would just want to call this uh, tutorial document dot docx. And if I were to run this, and then I go to my working directory, we're going to notice that we do have the tutorial document in here. And once we open it, you're going to notice that we have some text, and it's the same text that we passed in. Now, of course, let's go ahead and maybe see a different style that we can add here. So maybe I think there's one called heading one that we could use. So all we need to do is just to simply uh, create a new Word doc object. So rerun that step two, run step three, and then run step four. Then we go into our working directory, open up the tutorial document, and as you can see, this is now turned into a heading. So that's pretty much a very simple layout as to how to create a Word document. It simply starts with loading the library, creating that Word document object, performing your edits, and adding those contents to your document, and then saving the document. So this is a very simple approach. Let's move to a more complex approach. In the example that I want to show you next, I want to create a two-page document consisting of information about my favorite club 
Club Atletico de Madrid. So I want to include on the first page the logo of the team, a nice fancy title along with some history on the club, and then on the second page I want to include a table consisting of all the players on the roster. So let's go and show you how to do that. Okay, let's get started. So first I'm going to load in the necessary packages, so I'm just going to go ahead and run them. Next I'm going to load in the Atleti data and store it in the DF object. Then I'm also going to load in the list of the players and store that in the players object. And then I'm also going to load in the logo, which is just an image of the team's logo. And I'm just going to store it in that logo object. And then I'm also going to create a blank Word document and uh, set it as the Word doc object like we, like we did previously. So just really quick to look at the DF object. All this simply is it just contains uh, two columns one for the team name and one for the history. So this, these are the piece of text that I'm going to use for our document. And then if we look at the player's data frame, it is just simply a table consisting of the current roster of the team. Okay, now let's get started. So if you noticed, we first started off the document with the logo. And in order to add the logo, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to start editing the document like we did before. So I'm going to set the word doc object equals to word doc and I'm going to pipe it into a body add image function. What I want to pass in first is the image object so in that case it would be the logo object. I'm going to set the width of this to 2.9 and then I'm going to set the height of this image to 1.8 I can then also use a style on the images and I want this to be centered. And then on top of that, I want to make sure that the uh, set the position to after. And this is going to help in terms of adding uh, the cursor. So we want to make sure that we're adding the cursor after the image so that it can help us add more content to the file. So if I were to just simply run this, and then I try to print the document, so I'm just going to say print Word doc, and I'm going to call it Atleti document. Oh, sorry, I'm using an Excel file, docx. And then once I look at that in here, you're going to notice that the logo has been centered at the top of the page. Excellent. So now let's go ahead and continue editing this. And the cool thing about this is that no matter how many edits you can make, you can just keep creating a continuous pipe in this. So you can just continue piping statements after statements uh, without having to uh, set an equal sign for every time we're making edits. So I'm just going to continue piping this. And I want to add some spacing so that I can space out the logo from the title. So in order to do that, I'm just going to simply use the body.addParagraph function, and I'm going to add an empty uh, string in here. And this is the equivalent of pressing like the enter button on your keyboard whenever you're editing a Word document. And I want to also add another one in here as well. And then next, what I want to do is I want to add that title. However, the problem here is that that title had some formatting things going on with it. So the color was different, the size was different, the font type was different. So in order to be able to create some formatted text, you need to actually set those formatting properties first. So you create like a formatting template and then you apply that template to the text. And the way we do that is we're going to actually create that by storing it in a team heading variable or object and I'm going to use the format paragraph text function. This is going to allow us to pass in many different types of attributes that we can then apply to any type of text that we want. And the good part about this is that it's not restricted to just one piece of text. You can use the same formatting to apply to different parts of the text in the document. So for now, I want to adjust the color. So for the color, I have a hexadecimal value that I would like to use. So that would be B5 332a. Next, I want to pass in uh, whether I want this text to be bolded, and yes, I do. 
I'm going to set the font size equals to 25. And then I'm also going to make sure that this text is underlined. And then last but not least, I want to change the font family and I'm going to set it equals to MV Bali. So I'm going to run that. So we just now we need to actually apply that formatting to the text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another object called format team heading. And I'm going to set that equals to an F text function, which comes from the officer package. And this takes two parameters. So it's going to take the text that you want to format and then also the formatting template that you created using the FP text function. So the text that I want comes from the DF file and it's the team name and it's the first instance. And then the second would be the team heading object that I created, which is the formatting uh, settings that I'm going to apply to the text. And then last, we just want to pass this on and pipe it into a format paragraph function. So once we run that, now we have that ready. So now we come back to our Word document that we were uh, adding contents to. And this time, what we're going to do is we're going to use the body add function. And what we're going to do is we're going to add in the format team heading object that we created. And we're going to set the style equals to centered as well. And then I also want to make sure that I'm adding in another function. So body add paragraph. And let's go ahead and just for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to go ahead and rerun this. So I'm going to run the Word document. I'm going to run this. And then I'm also going to run the print. And let's see what we have. So I'm going to go to the officer package, go to the Atleti document. And we're going to see that we have the logo and we have the title. Excellent. Now it's time to add that text. And let's go back to R and start adding the text to that. So I'm going to pipe it in and I'm going to create a new body add paragraph function. And what we want to do is actually I'm going to create a small heading at the top and call it history of the club. And I'm going to use the uh, heading style. So style equals to heading one. And then I'm going to go into the body, add a paragraph, add another space. And then I'm going to then use the body, add paragraph. And I'm going to add in the history text. So that comes from the DF object. And I'm going to use the history column. And then I'm going to set it equals to one because it's the first instance. And then I'm going to set the style equals to normal. Then I'm also going to add one more piece of spacing in here. So body add paragraph. OK, now let's go ahead and rerun our Word document object. And now let's run this again. And let's print it out. So if we go back to it, we click on it. We're going to notice that now we have the logo title. Now we have a subheading, the history of the club, and then we have the text of the history of the team. OK, one more thing we need to do is now we need to add the roster. And the way we need to do that is we still have space on the first page, but we want to break off of that page and add it to the second page. And the way we do that is we are going to use the body add break function. And that is simply going to jump to a new page. So it's simply just adding a page break. And then what we want to do is we want to say body add table. And you just want to simply pass in our table. So our table with the roster was called players. And then you can actually apply a style to it. And there are many other parameters that we can adjust. But I'm just going to only use the style parameter here. And I'm going to set it equals to the table template style. And there are several other styles that you can pick from, but I'll just go ahead and stick with this one. So let's go ahead and rerun all of this. So I'm going to go to the Word document, read docx. I'm going to run the Word doc with those content changes, and then I'm, I'm going to save the file. Now let's go ahead and give it a look. And as you can see, we have the text on the first page, and then on the second page, we have a table of the roster. 
So really, if you think about it this way, if you had a data frame with a list of all the teams and, a rost and, and, and data frames of all the rosters, you can simply create this document for many other teams with a click of a button, all in the same format without having to do it manually. So you can actually be very creative with this and create loops to allow you to create hundreds of documents at once. So I hope you learned something new about creating Word documents using R. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next tutorial.